There appears to have been a big step forward tonight when it comes to future development in the northwestern Guilford County town of Summerfield, where a proposed residential and retail development has been in limbo for months. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Katie Nordine. Just within the last hour, the Summerfield Town Council, which has rejected this project at least twice in the past, voted to make a change to its current zoning ordinance. Fox 8's Justin Lundy is live in Summerfield where a public meeting wrapped up a short time ago. Justin, what happened? Neil, Katie, in a 3-2 to two vote, the town council decided to reduce the minimum size it takes for any future development in this town to 450 acres. And developer David Couch's attorney told me just a short time ago that he agrees with the new change. Now, all this is a part of the change to the town council's zoning rules that essentially would allow developers to build projects like what Couch originally wanted. Before tonight's vote, about two dozen people spoke against the change, though. Some even accused the council of caving to state Senator Phil Berger, who threatened to push a bill in the legislature that would have de-annexed the land and boosted the chances of Couch getting what he wanted. Three of the ten votes tonight are going to be million-dollar votes from people with their own personal wealth. And you, the council, the mayor, the manager, and the attorney, you all said there's no conflict of interest. But it gives that to any entity pursuing the OSMB. And I don't see any of the compromise here. What I really see here is, frankly, a dressed up but thinly veiled permission slip to that person. Excuse me. How does everybody in this room? How does everybody in this room? Wonderful. I'm hoping that you all don't hate me as Again, Couch's attorney told me his client accepts tonight's decision, but it's still unclear whether or not the General Assembly will stay out of the town's business. Senator Berger has said in the past he won't move to de-annex the de-annex bill forward if Couch and the town make progress in their negotiations, and we'll see if that does indeed happen. But I'll have reaction from Mayor Tim Sessoms and Couch's attorney in the 11 o'clock show. But for now, reporting live in Summerfield, Justin Lundy, Fox 8 News.